What's going on everyone this is Dustin from Journey to Master and in today's episode I'm going to talk about why I chose to be an electrician and why I've stuck with this thing um, why working with one of the craziest most dangerous things on the planet is even a good idea and what kind of value I've gotten from uh, from being broke to being able to run my own company so uh, stay tuned I think you'll like this one electric power is everywhere present in unlimited quantities I can drive the world's machinery without the need of coal, oil, gas, or any other fuel. This new power for the driving of the world's machinery will be derived from the energy which operates the universe, the cosmic energy. Hey everyone, it's Dustin with Livewire Electrical. Um, I had a question that was DM to me. Someone asked, uh, how did you become an electrician and why? Uh, why have you stuck with this and why is this the thing that you like doing so much? And really, um, I didn't choose it. Uh, I feel like it kind of chose me. I know that's like metaphysical and, <laughs> and blasé. Um, but like I've had a lot of different jobs throughout the years. Um, I've gone to college. I've gotten or tried to get different degrees and, you know, I've, I've done so much that I haven't stuck with, um, that this thing kind of just, it became awesome to me. Um, so like what originally happened is I was working at Dell I was doing sales I was 21 years old, you know, making 60 grand a year. I thought I was balling out of control working at Dell and selling computers. And, uh, they went through layoffs every year. They go through layoffs or when they hit slumps, they just lay off like tons and tons of people. So, uh, I got laid off. And so, my dad has been a handyman his whole life. He's always um, done tile or sheetrock work, replacing doors, windows, I mean, roofing, anything and everything. That's what my dad's done his entire life. So I've always been there to like help him clean stuff up or help him hold this or whatever, you know. So over the years of my, my youth and my childhood, I've just been exposed to a lot of construction type of stuff. My grandpa and all my uncles, um, all of them were uh, builders, you know, or they did some sort of construction. Uh, my whole family built my childhood home. Um, and so this was like an easy thing for me to slide into, but, um, I was doing a job with him. We were, um, tiling someone's kitchen and my dad just looked at the guy when he walked in and he was like, Hey man, uh, you all hiring electricians. Cause this guy was an electrician. It was a friend of my dad's. He was like, yeah, uh, just go in and, you know, talk to the, talk to the boss, man. And so I went in and talked to him and, you know, told him I, I knew how to use tools and I'd messed around with a little bit of electrical stuff, but, you know, nothing crazy. And uh, most of the jobs up until this point, I was getting paid like eight bucks an hour or 10 bucks an hour or whatever. And he was willing to pay me 15 an hour just to start out to learn a trade. And I was like, holy shit. Okay, you know, I'll try it. Um, at first, you know, the first like year, I felt, I felt like I was a loser because I was lowering myself to this construction trade and I was one of those construction guys, those dirty guys that nobody respects and I was just like, man, this isn't what I want to fucking do with my life. Like, I'm going to be that kid millionaire driving a Ferrari by the age of 23, you know, like I'm special. <laughs> and uh, uh, I found out that that's not, that wasn't in the cards. Um, but, you know, doing it long enough, uh, I started to really have an appreciation for how cool electricity is, how mysterious everything is, and uh, how fucking powerful it is and dangerous. But what really got me to stick with this thing, because I'm very much a non-committal person, or I always have been, but what made me stick to doing electrical was once I started understanding like how all this shit worked and just seeing that Electricity is this invisible thing that we can't really understand. I mean, we call it electrical theory and electron theory because a lot of people think they have a grasp of what's going on and we can mathematically model uh, and scientifically model what's going on, but we really have no clue. It's, it's still like this huge mystery. Um, so it's this invisible force that does some crazy shit and uh, it's 
it's super powerful, it's in control, and we're just kind of like a fireman holding a hose, just letting it do its own thing and uh, trying to manipulate one of the strongest forces on the planet. Uh, the danger involved in like an emergency situation where you got to work on something hot, um, you know, it's dangerous. And so that to me was always intriguing. Uh, plus just man, working every day, working my ass off, sweating and getting home and being tired and having a killer night's sleep because I just work my fucking ass off. I love that. I love being outdoors. If you want to smoke a cigarette and chill and like, look around outside, you're, you know, you're not stuck in a cubicle. I've done that too. I've worked at Dell. I've, I've had so many damn jobs. Um, I'm the type of person though that I've always had like two or three jobs at one time. I've always worked seven days a week. I've hustled and grinded my ass off and uh, I've always waited for the payoff. And this is the first thing that I really, um, this is the first thing that I really put my all into and like really dedicated my time and energy to. And uh, I realized early on that you can do side work. Um, I had some journeymen that every once in a while, they'd be like, hey, I need some recessed cans put in. This, I got a customer, I can't get to it this weekend. If you want it, they pay 750 bucks. And I was like, wait, you mean like 750 bucks for four or five hours of work? He's like, yeah. I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> that's awesome. So, you know, I started doing a little bit of side work and realized like as I was doing side work, I was making five to 10 times more per day than I was making just as an apprentice electrician. So that got me really excited. And once I started doing it long enough, I realized like, wow, I can, I can do this for a lifetime and make far more money than the majority of my friends who have degrees. And I thought about that for a second too. I was like, wow. So not only do I not have to go to college and get a degree for this, I just have to work every day and log hours and take tests and get licenses. But instead of me paying $250,000 for a degree somewhere that, you know, you get a couple of years of experience in the field that you're, that you're working in, but the rest of it is like math and, uh, uh, government, and, you know, us history and like, what the fuck is that's not experience towards a job. So rather than spending 250 grand a year and learning very, very little about something over four years, I was paid every day you know I was paid forty thousand dollars a year so I got in that time paid rather than paying and I got all of the experience of eight hour of yeah eight hours a day five days a week way more than that but you know side work and everything but I got so much experience just crammed in every single day for the same four years as I would be going to college to learn you know a little bit so you end up knowing way more about something and being way more valuable in four years and plus you get paid to do it the entire time you don't have to pay a dime so to me that was really really cool um, so now I'm an electrician uh, I decided to go out on my own last year I figured the second I took that master test and the second I could own a company I was I was down and so it's been a long journey just waiting and like watching my time watching my hours and being like how many more days until I can take that fucking test? And uh, sure as shit, the day that I turned that paperwork in and I found out that I could take that exam, I went and took it. And the guy I was working for, I respect the living shit out of, man. I'm one of the best men that I know. Um, so I gave him a like a three-month notice. I wanted to quit that day, man. I wanted to go and just be like, woohoo, I'm a millionaire, you know. But I, uh, I figured it'd be the decent thing to do. This guy is the one that taught me how to fish for myself you know he's put up with my shit for uh, over eight years and uh, burning stuff up breaking shit breaking windows you know like this dude put up with a lot for me and to help develop me as a as a good electrician and just showed me what it's like to be a responsible man coming from a, you know a, being a party kid um, so anyways I gave him three months and at the end of that three months I was like boom I'm doing my own thing so um, here I am seven months later bumps and bruises, a lot of lessons learned. This is the first thing that I've ever stuck with for a career because every day it's still exciting. You know, doing service work, every time I walk into a place, there's a new problem. There's a new thing that, you know, I haven't seen this before. Like, holy shit, you know, how do we make this work? And um, being being an electrician affords you a lot of, uh, a lot of opportunity. 
guys with journeyman cards right now, I mean, like, they can get a job, and they can pretty much say whatever they want to get paid, and they'll get paid it. There's just a really high need for journeyman. And, uh, you know, an electrician's always going to have a job. There's never going to be a point in our society where we don't have electricity. And, you know, electricity's in cars and cell phones and houses and factories. Plan I mean, electricity's always going to be needed. And if shit ever hit the fan and we just lost our power grid or zombie apocalypse or whatever the fuck happens, I know that I can create power and sustain power. And that's a huge thing for a group of people to be able to live because you know this one trade that's super important to know. Um, also, it just keeps me learning. Um, you know, there's, I, I feel like there's no end to the shit that I can learn. You know, when I'm 70 years old, I know I'm going to be a damn good electrician because of all of the stuff day to day that I'm going to accumulate through knowledge and all the mistakes I'm going to make. But it's no longer just a job for me. I mean, like, this is my, my way. It's almost like being a Jedi, you know, it's not just a job, it's a fucking way of life, you know, or Buddhism. Uh, it, it's, it's kind of like a religion or it's like a, a, a value system. Like, this is what I want to do the rest of my life, you know, and the guys that I work around, I want to be able to pick what guys I work around because I've met some cool ass dudes. Most of the guys that I've worked with, whether they were my helpers or they were the journeymen that I was working under or the master electricians, most of them are like really outstanding, really wise people. And it's cool being a kid, you know, I'm 31 years old, but I've always been traditionally half the age of every other person doing this. The average age of an electrician is 55 years old. So most guys that do this are really old and they've had a lot of, I don't know, not really old. I'm sorry. Some of them might watch this and be like, Hey motherfucker, I'm only 50. Uh, but like, that's still, you know, almost twice my age, but I've learned so much from these people and I've learned from being a kid and not having my shit together, just watching these men grow up and watching their perspective on things really has just changed my life and has kind of developed me into being a man. And so I've developed some really like strong bonds with some really cool ass people um, that have taught me things and that I've taught things. And so it's a whole lifestyle, man. It's not that I just like sparking shit, you know, I don't, it's not that I like risking being shocked or that I like just drilling holes and pulling wire. I, none of that matters to me, you know, like for me, um, it's the whole lifestyle. It's the passion. It's like loving what I do and being able to walk into a really fucked up situation and spend some time and really think about everything and redo it all and walk away and it looks amazing and you turn the light switch on and boom, everything works. Um, just my thing is, you know, I'm, I'm kind of anal in the, in the fact that like, I like things to look really nice. Aesthetics plays a, a large role in what I do. Um, so I like, I like doing stuff that's really, really that looks good and then having the customer just be like, holy shit, man, that's so much better than it was before you came. So, um, kind of like feeds my ego a little bit, but I get so much out of this, man. It's a, it's a, it's the one thing that I've found that has turned into a lifelong passion. And, uh, I know that I'll never do another thing again. Um, unless, you know, like I, I'm in a transformer vault or something and I, end up getting an arc flash that blows my entire face off, uh, then, you know, and my arms or whatever, I might have to do something else at that point. Um, but like, this is my thing, man, this is my gig. So, um, hope that answers the question. Sorry. It took like 10 fucking minutes to answer a simple ass question, but, uh, talk to you guys later.